Stop browsing BTM servers, subreddits, and all the communities for the answer. These places are stunting your growth. You see, I've been getting more traction after learning these tips from creators outside of YouTubing. So today, I'm going to clear up this possession about growth, teach you the basic of content creation, and create a tangible direction for your VTubing career. We will mostly cover VTubing on YouTube, and information in this video can be applied to other social medias. Let's get started. First things first, stop blaming luck for your slow growth. I see it so often where people ask for advice and it's followed by, the algorithm hates me, the algorithm sucks, the algorithm will push my video, yada yada yada, zip it, zip it, zip it, zip it, I don't want to hear it. The problem is that these creators give up agency of their own success to outside factors. The only thing that holds anyone back is a gap in knowledge about content that people actually want to watch. According to YouTube liaison, the official link between platform and creators, YouTube has gotten really good at recommending videos to the right audience. In the past, videos were pushed out based on likes, view counts, and comments, which led to random clickbait videos going viral. Nowadays, these aren't the most important factor in recommending a video. Our home feeds show up both big and small videos because two major factors matter now. Watch time and satisfaction. When a viewer watches the video all the way through, it tells the algorithm that the video is really interesting. What if you watch a video out of curiosity and end up disliking it? Well, that video goes through more checks. Are they returning viewers? Are your videos keeping people on the platform longer? Occasionally, you'll see surveys like this on screen as well, though I've been informed that this feature is not universal. This is all set up in a way so that the audience can feel good about what they watch, and in turn associate good things with the platform. When I uploaded my first video on this channel, I thought it was a flop. For about 45 days, nothing really happened. But during that time, YouTube was quietly testing it with different audiences. All of a sudden, it started pouring in views. Don't lose hope if your content doesn't take off right away. Sometimes, it just needs a bit more testing to get the right viewers. In the end, the algorithm isn't some mysterious beast. It's really all about your audience. If you shift your focus when trying to please the algorithm to actually engaging with your audience, you'll have a much better chance at success. Remember, the algorithm is just a reflection of how well your content resonates with the people watching it. Let's talk about different types of video formats on YouTube. The truth is, YouTube live streams are the awkward middle child between videos and shorts. Live streaming was originally created to compete with Twitch, but as time went on, TikTok became a bigger threat to the platform. Like many of you, I started streaming because that's what all the big VTubers are doing. When it comes to choosing among live streams, shorts, and videos, it's better to focus on two to three media, especially if you're an indie VTuber. Try out each one to see what you like or dislike. This way, you can avoid burnout and really focus on making quality content. This is the most important part of the video. I spent countless hours researching what content goes viral, and honestly, it's not that complicated. It's all about packaging your interests in a way that's appealing to others. YouTube is moving towards valuing quality videos more. You don't need to crank out five videos a week, you could just make one good video every few weeks. Doesn't that sound better? One of the coolest channels I've come across is called Lines in Motion. They've only made about 30 videos in 4 years, and they usually post a new video every 3 months. Even though they don't upload often, each video is packed with great info and amazing editing that leaves you feeling satisfied. In the bigger picture, you probably won't be the next Lines in Motion right away. Their video shows mastery of skills that many of us are still learning. Instead of trying to make 5 videos a week or 1 video every 6 months, Find a rhythm where you can create a few videos in 30 days. That way, you'll get better with each upload while staying consistent with the feedback. As an indie VTuber, you're just one person. Channels that put out a lot of long-form videos alongside streams and shorts usually have a team behind them. I often see new VTubers mistakenly try to copy the release schedule of bigger VTubers. It's just not possible. So what makes content quality? The key to quality content is less about your editing skills, and more so understanding that your audience wants something that fulfills a need or brings value to their life. Here are some common categories that help channels grow while providing value to these viewers. Entertainment. This is the most common category for VTubers. It requires a good level of charisma and humor to attract viewers. If you're good at storytelling, you can also excel in this route too. Education. If you have a subject or topic you're interested in teaching others, like art, science, or something even niche, this type of video is recommended. Transformative. This type of video changes someone's outlook or idea about something. Common examples are video essays often focusing on topics like 
motivation, relationships, health, or relatability. This is often why fan art and song covers tend to do better than original content. The idea that it takes on a new form of what you're already familiar with. These are rather broad categories and I'll cover some more later on in the video, but these are going to be what you'll find a lot of videos to fall under. When you're deciding between niche and variety, think of it like a sliding scale. Focusing on niche can bring in more views, while variety gives you more freedom. Most creators burn out by sticking to just one type of content, and other creators get frustrated when they try too many things and don't see growth. Instead of going to either extremes, you need to find a balance that lets you grow, but also gives you enough flexibility to change your content when you want to. Many years ago, I was looking for a tutorial for a note-taking program called Obsidian. This one video I came across had more than 100,000 views. It had information I needed, when suddenly, there was a VTuber on screen. John Maverick is an example of a VTuber that niched himself quite well around a single note-taking app. Each of his video has pretty significant views with his top video having 400,000 views altogether. Many VTubers are not going to be John Maverick, but it is a potential path for some. More likely than not, you're going to be someone like SS Isa. She has song covers, ASMRs, memes, variety, you name it. The best scenario is when you become the main reason people watch your content, when you become the niche they're interested in. Variety is a valid means of growth, but you have to grow into the brand and personality for it. That's just the truth. Doesn't mean you have to be extrovert or loud, it's just entertaining. Navigating the balance between sticking to a niche and branching out can be tricky. Think of your content growth as moving both up and out. Let's say you start by making videos about Genshin Impact Guides. You can grow a lot by focusing on just that. But if you start feeling bored, you might want to branch out a bit. Instead of guides, you could just make videos about Genshin lore. Maybe make videos on analysis, damage showcases, or updates. However, if you're thinking about completely switching gears, like moving from Genshin to Valorant, that could be risky. Your current audience might not be interested in Valorant, and it'll take time to build a new audience. As you shift your focus, you'll likely still keep some of your original audience while attracting new viewers. This is the sort of difficulty you start to encounter as you grow larger in size. Have you ever wondered how some YouTube videos keep bringing in views? months, or even years after they're posted, creating evergreen content is the key to building a YouTube channel that grows on autopilot. There are type of videos that stay useful and interesting no matter when people watch it. So rather than focusing on explosive viral videos, creating content that steadily grows is more consistent and achievable for many of us. To create videos that stay relevant, focus on topics that have long-term relevancy. These are going to be tutorials, educational materials, song covers, video essays, ASMR sleep aids, exercise videos, just to name a few. By sticking to video topics that don't change very much, your videos will continue to be useful to viewers long into the future. The opposite of evergreen content is trends. These are going to be memes, player of the month games, news, or updates. There are VTubers who can grow and take advantage of these trends, but the time frame for their relevancy is going to be a lot smaller, so they're sort of forced to push content more often. Although I encourage creating evergreen content, you can also mix evergreen content with current trends for even better results. This approach can attract more viewers while still providing timeless value on some of your other videos, creating a feedback loop for all your channel. With all things considered, content creation can be overwhelming for first-time creators. To give a bit more direction for your channel, I suggest grabbing a pen and paper for the last part of the video. At the top of the page, write down no more than 5 inspiration for your channel. I wholeheartedly believe that if you want to succeed as a VTuber, at least one of them has to be a non-VTuber. The best VTubers come from those who innovate outside VTubing rather than following the formula to a T. Next to your inspiration, write down your unfair advantages, the kind of skills or knowledge that you uniquely possess over most people. To those of you who don't think they have anything, you most definitely do. Imagine you're at your grocery store. You 100% do have the skills and knowledge on something that over 90% of people there don't have. You can add things you're obsessed with like specific games, TV shows, or genres of music. These are going to be the foundation for your channel. If you like a particular game, think about expanding beyond pure gameplay footage. Try to really think about creative ways to repackage your video. If for example you wrote down League of Legends, maybe you can make tutorials, challenge videos, breakdown guides, commentate over the history of League of Legends, maybe interviews too. Lastly, 
create a one year plan for yourself. You can toss a random number for your sub count, but that doesn't really matter as much as the next part of it. Write goals that are achievable and based on factors you can control. If you don't feel like you can make merch within the next year because you lack art skills, funds, or knowledge, then disregard it. However, if you're willing to be the kind of person that is willing to learn or build the skills or get funding for it, then write it down. One of the most consistent things about my one year plan so far has been putting forth unique and interesting streams. I'm just a regular VTuber, much like you. Heck, I put together a Hot Ones interview with myself using Google Image and Photoshop. Nothing too crazy. These three questions will help guide your vision in your VTubing journey. When you get lost or don't know what to do, look to these ideas as a source of inspiration. At the core of content creation, things take time. If you're truly starting out for the first time, try many things and learn lots of things. To succeed on YouTube, you have to take these concepts and prepare to learn and improve your video making skills as well. This is only the start. If you need help making your VTuber model, check out these videos here to get more information. Feel free to support me by subscribing to my channel or checking out my live stream here on YouTube. Your support means a lot.